Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial and here I'm going to show you how I edit my videos. That is, uh, I will do a video editing from scratch and I will show you the exact steps that I follow. So in this video, you are going to get a recap kind of thing of all the stuffs that you have learned so far and uh, you'll see how I put them into practice. So without further ado, let's jump inside Filmora and let me show you. So let me import a file, just click on over here. And as you can see, I've imported a file. Now this is uh, coming straight away from the project that I'm doing currently. And let me select the highest resolution, right? And as you can see, it has been imported in the timeline. So let's go into the start of it, right over here. So the first thing that I recommend you to do is once you import the file, just go ahead and do two stuffs before doing any kind of cuts or any kind of things, right? So the first thing that you need to do is the color correction of your video. So for that, we'll double click on the video. And in here on this right hand side, we'll go over to this color. Just click on that. And in here, you can see all the presets over here, right? So we can just click on that and we can actually search for the preset that we want to. There are numerous presets available over here. You can just go through any one of them, but I kind of personally like this one. That's the boost color. So let us click on that and you can see the difference that I'm getting, right? So if I apply nothing, so if I'm going to apply other different things, like there is one elegant, there is a brighten. So depending on your clip and your shooting kind of environment, you can choose whatever suits the best to you. But for me, the boost color works good, right? So now once this is done, we will just go ahead into this clip over here and this time we are going to make another correction. So for that, we'll again select the clip and we'll go over to this video portion over here. Now we'll again select the clip and this time we will go over to this icon over here, which is the speed. And in here we will go for uniform speed, right? Just click on that and that will open up this speed editor over here. Just go ahead and make it 1.2. Again, this works for me. You can choose whatever works for you. It can be the same that is 1.0. That is the best for you. It can be 1.5. It can be 1.3. It can be 1.1. Just play around with the speed and he hear yourself how it is sounding. If that sounds good, then you can just go ahead and do that, right? So once that is done, you can see the effect has taken place over here. So now in here, you can see there are certain parts of the video that are silent, right? So these are the things that I want to remove. So I'll place a cut over here. So I'm going to cover you up in anything, right? I'm showing you all the basic stuffs as well. So just go over and apply the cut, select the portion and hit on delete, right? Again, do that for the other uh, part as well. Just select it and then again, place your cursor over here, select the cut and then delete it, right? So that's how it happens. And now let us play this and listen what it says. So I've connected this headphone so that I can actually uh, hear what is being said on the video, right? So uh, let us play this video. Hey guys, welcome to this brand new section. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome to this brand new section. So as you can see, this was a fumble and there is a repetition. So what I'll do is that I'll delete this clip, right? Now we are going to again play this. Hey guys, welcome to this brand new section where we are going to talk about how you can create vertical videos that are very much in trend, be it YouTube Shorts, be it Instagram Reels or wherever you go, you can also upload them as Facebook Reels, wherever you want to. And uh, this kind of video editing requires some special skills like you need auto captions over there because so uh, that is it. That is good enough. So let us start, right? So the first thing that we need to do over here is that we can go ahead and add a background music to it, right? So for that, we'll head over to this audio. And in here, we can actually choose any of these audios, right? Uh, essentially, you should just go ahead and play this to have a feel of what it sounds like. So this uh, sounds quite good. So let us download this. So I'm doing this quickly, but you can go through and check out their turn musics that are available, right? So we are going to add this on this audio track, just like this, right? So as you can see, it has been added and it extends way beyond our clip, right? So what we need to do is that we need to come over where our clip ends. And in here, we need to select the audio part and click on this split. And then we need to delete the extra part, right? So that was the first thing to be done. In the second thing that we need to do is we need to edit this audio clip. For that, we'll double click on this audio clip over here. And in here, we will and in here, we are going to add a fade in and a fade out, right? So that it appears a little nice to the ears, right? So that's quite cool. So now if we are going to play this. Hey guys, welcome to this brand new section where we are going to talk about how. So now you can uh, see the thing that happens is that uh, when I'm talking, the background music is too loud. 
right? The background music is more audible than what I'm saying. So that should not be the case, right? So that is where we will apply the audio ducking, that feature that I had shown you while audio editing, right? So now we are going to uh, just right click on this and then we are going to adjust audio. Just click on that. And in here, if we scroll down, you can find this audio ducking, right? Just click on that. And in here, you have a level of audio ducking as well. So let us go ahead and play this. And this time, let us try to figure out whether this happens correctly or not. Guys, welcome to this brand new section where we are going to talk about how you can create vertical videos that are very much in trend, be it YouTube Shorts, be it Instagram Reels. Or so as you can see, now the audibility is quite good. But if we want to, we can just go ahead and increase the volume of our original clip as well a little bit, just like uh, maybe 3.9 or 6.6. .6. That's up to us. Uh, say we want it to be 3.9, right? And now if we play this again, guys, welcome to this brand new section where we are going to talk about how you can create vertical videos that are very much in trend. Be it YouTube. So you can see it has got a distinct thing, right? The part of my voice and the background music are quite differentiated now you can also go ahead and increase the ducking as well so that you get it even lower right you can see you can see the effect that it has on this uh, timeline over here the more i increase the ducking the lower it goes right the, and the lower i keep the ducking the higher are its peaks right so now let us hear it and see whether this works nice hey guys welcome to this brand new section where we are going to talk about how you can create vertical videos that are very much in trend be it youtube shorts be it instagram reels or wherever you go you can also upload them as so as you can see this time it's a perfect thing to happen right so in this way you can play around with all of these stuffs to get a perfect thing for yourself right so now once that we have done uh we are going to show you another few stuffs like um adding 3d text so uh, maybe at the start of it. Hey guys, this is Shine. Hey guys, welcome to this brand new section where we are going to talk about how you can create vertical videos that are... So here the vertical videos uh, is something that I want to focus on. So I'll go ahead and add a quick 3D text or what I can do is that I can go over to this titles and from here we can go for titles and then we can actually go ahead and add 3D text. So here is the 3D titles. Click on that and in here you can choose any one of them. Let us choose this one for a quick example. And then let us drag it to our timeline. They're very much in trend, be it YouTube Shorts, be it Instagram Reels or web. So now let us actually drag this to our timeline, just like here. So here in, I was talking about the vertical videos, right? So let us place it here. Let me play again. You can create vertical videos that are very much. In so it comes out perfectly, right? Just maybe a minor adjustment that I need to do just like this. And now I want to actually edit this, right? So I'll double click on this. And this opens up over here. So let me turn this into a vertical. And then let us write videos, right? And then we can go ahead and apply the animation as well. So let us do that. And now as you can see, it's guarding my face. So I don't want that. So I will actually scale it a little down, just like this. And I will place it on any vacant area that I have, like this one or maybe this one. Or I can do it right here as well. So that's up to us, right? So now if we go ahead and play this, you can see you can create with the vertical nice videos that are very much in trend, be it YouTube Shorts, be it Instagram Reels, or wherever you go, you can also upload them. As so in the same way, you can add Instagram Reels, you can add YouTube Shorts, all of these, those texts should come over here. So that is going to give a better viewership, right? A better viewing experience to your users right so uh, you can go ahead and so basically you can go ahead and add uh, different other animations to all those stuffs as well so it kind of gives a more relaxation to the eyes right so uh, i have shown you how to apply cuts i have shown you speed adjustment i have shown you uh, how to add background music i have shown you how to do audio ducking i have shown you how to add text right now let me show you how to add text uh, with text we want to add sound effects right so for that what we will do is that we will go over to this audio and in here we will go for sound effect so as you can see there is an explosion so if i click on this it actually allows us to take a preview or we can even select this one so that's up to us right we can go ahead and select any one of them so let us use this for an example so what we are going to do is that we are going to drag this and we are going to place it like this. You can see a uh, left hand side line is coming matching to the uh, text that we have, right? So we are going to drop it right here. So just drop it over here. So now if we go ahead and play this. 
talk about how you can create so you could see the nice little explosion sound is coming up right so quite good right so now that this is done we are going to go back to our uh, timeline and in here we have almost applied anything and everything now let me show you how you can apply the zoom in effect say for example right in here i want to zoom inside of the face right so what i can do is that i can select the media and then i just need to go over to this more over here and then i can just go for key framing as you can see over here right just click on that and here you can see a keyframe has been added. Then again, if we just drag this uh, radar a little bit more and then again, we are going to go for it and we are going to select keyframing. So you can see a couple of keyframes have been added. So in the second keyframe, what we are going to do is that we are going to increase the scale. So let us do that. Let us make it um, 200 just for an example and hit on enter. And as you can see, it has actually zoomed into my face, right? So now if we're going to play this, then you, you can, can also see. upload them as Facebook Reels where a nice zoom in effect happening, right? So now you if we want to and uh, this, this time we can do that. Or say, for example, I, this time I want to pan the screen. I want to focus on this NKR Academy logo over here. So again, we'll go for the keyframe. Just go for keyframe. And again, as I had shown you, you always need to add a couple of keyframes so that you get a good effect, right? And on the second keyframe, what we are going to do is that we are going to change the position, which we can do either by dragging just like this, right? Or what we can do is that we can change the X, Y positions over here as well. So both of them works, right? So for the quick purpose, we are doing this kind of panning, right? So let me play this and let us show what happens. You can also upload them as Facebook Reels. Where is the zoom? want to and uh and this kind of video editing because this is the pan quite cool right so now from nkr academy maybe we want to pan till the youtube logo so let us do that as well let's add another couple of keyframes uh just go over here and let us do that so we have added another keyframe and on this keyframe let us move this video position to this youtube logo just like this right so now if we play this, it has it would have a nice panning effect. Uh, Just look at this, this kind of video editing requires some special skills like you. Quite brilliant, right? Now again, we need to pan back to my face. So again, go for keyframing. Another part of it. And on the second keyframe, just adjust the video just like this, right? So quite cool. So again, if we go ahead and play this, maybe from before panning, this kind of video editing requires some special First skills time, like you need one. auto captions Here is over the third one so quite cool right so now if we go, want to go back to our original thing we can again go back and go over to keyframing we can add another keyframing just over here and then we can actually scale it down as well so all of that is doable right and very easy to do as well as you saw over there so you can see it happens again fine now, if we play this, captions over there because, uh, you know, Alex yeah. Hermoji style. So, all of that is very easy to do. And I really hope that you are able to follow me. With that being said, there are a few more things that you can do with it. You can actually apply this rotation. Let me show you that as well. So, what it can do is that you can just come over to this keyframe over here. Just select that. And maybe add a little rotation to your video just like this. So this will kind of give you a rotating effect as well. You can even go ahead and flip your video to the horizontal flip. Or you can go for a vertical upside down flip as well. That's up to you, right? So these are all effects that you can add to make your video stand out. And you can also add these um, things to give a more dynamicity to your video as well, right? So basically, uh, that is how we do keyframing on our videos, right? Now, if we want to add any B-roll to any part of our videos, all that we want to do, go over to this stock media over here. And in here, we can add B-rolls from Pexels, from Giphy, from Pixabay, from Unsplash. I want to show you one thing over here. You can just head over to Giphy and then you can select the stickers. Just go over there and you can have some awesome stickers from here, right? So if you are saying something like if you are loving this, then you can add this thing. This gives you a transparent background thing, right? So... As you can see, it looks quite awesome, right? It can bring a great thing to your video. So that was another thing regarding adding B-rolls and all those stuffs, right? Okay, now I want to show you another stuff that is very important, which is adding stickers, which we do towards the last of our videos. That is when we come to the end of the video, we have a call outs. Like uh, if it is a YouTube video, we call out like... Uh, if you have loved this video, then please help us with a like, right? So we can go over to the stickers over here. And in here, we can search for stickers as well. And there are some recommended stickers. You can find most of them over here. You can just bring it on here. You can adjust 
the position of it you can change the size of it as well so everything is quite doable right you can actually play around with this so these are the few things that i've just wanted to make a recapitulation so that these are the mostly used things that you can find in filmora and uh, different videos and these can easily add a new level to your old dull videos right and another thing that you want to add to your videos is transitions so for transitions you need to make a cut first right transitions can only be applied on a cut right so let us go over to the transitions and from here i would suggest some of these transitions that i use right the warp zoom the box turn the orbital so these kind of transitions give you a nice feeling so let me show you how it looks once we apply this right, the ones that gain more attraction also you are going to learn about how we can actually so as you can see you can apply this kind of transitions very easily right so now that being said, I think I have covered all of the things over here, most of the things rather, because there are certain other things as well, like um, there's motion tracking that you can do, there is uh, masking that you can do. So for th those are all advanced level tutorials, you no don't need them day to day. This is rather a video where I'm showing you what all things that you can apply for your day to day editing, right, for getting you get started with as quick as possible. Then you can also go ahead and add effects. You can just select a part of your video where you want to add an effect. You can just go over to your effects and in here say I want this one split open so I can just bring it on here. And now if we play this. Hey guys, welcome to this brand new nice section. Nice little effect that comes over, right? So in the same way you can apply any effect and every effect that you want to basically, right? So if that being said, that's mostly it, right? Uh, I think I have shown you most of the things and uh, I just wanted yeah. to summarize the more day-to-day -day stuffs that Filmora has that you can actually just take a look at this video and you can get started with your editing journey. I really don't want to take up a lot of your time because you see editing is something that grows with every day. Once you start editing journey, you can get the vibes in your mind, you can get the feelings and that would go help you in actually creating masterpieces but it's important to start right so you can base on this video and you can take a quick start to your editing journey but that being said uh, that's it so uh, let me know if you want anything more on the messages i i am super active i'll definitely try to revert back to you as soon as possible with that being said this is your good friend shine bidding goodbye from you we'll meet again somewhere over the internet until then take care of yourself and your families signing off is shine from inca academy take care bye bye